Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Embroidery Hub. I'm Willie, and this week we're adding another hot item to your embroidery shop by teaching you how to make holders for travel size hand sanitizers. Now you're gonna want to make sure to watch all the way to the end of our video to find out where you can download the embroidery design file for this project for free. And as always, please remember to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Now let's get started. What's awesome about this holder is that it can take almost all sizes of mini hand sanitizers. It is super easy and fast to make and takes very few materials. Plus, on the back, there's a space for you to customize it with monograms or embroidery designs to make it better. Also, it is simple to change up the fabric you use to be able to increase its value. Alright guys, so these are the materials we're going to be using today. We have our seat hoop, we have our snips like always, our scissors, scotch tape, a velcro this is sticky back velcro and this is a uh, leather that we got from joanne stores as well all right guys so let's get into the cost and the profit that you can make with this project uh since the velcro costs five dollars if you divide that by the 20 pieces that come in you're going to be only using one so it's about 25 cents the leather goes for eight dollars so what we really need is about half so you can make between uh two to four depending on how much you want to use and how big the hoop that you're using obviously if you use a bigger hoop you really are squeezing everything in together so you can use less material so overall the cost of the materials is going to be two dollars and 25 cents and you can sell these holders for around eight dollars uh, all the way up to 11 now if you customize it you put some monograms in it you use different materials more towards a high end and this will bring your price all the way up to $20. So this means that you could be making from the uh, ranging from $8.75 all the way to $15 uh, just on your profit for each of your holders. All right, so the total time to make this is going to be 10 minutes for just one holder. Now, if you use a bigger hoop, you could do two at the same time, even all the way up to four, and you could cut your time over by half of that so that means that anywhere between five to ten minutes you're going to be making 875 in profit all the way up to 15. all right so what we're going to do now i'm just going to put this hoop over so i can get an idea of where i'm going to be cutting our first uh, piece of garment so say around right here i don't want to have any room for errors so i'm just going to go in and just cut around right here okay so let's go ahead and just put this over let's hoop it so today we're using the Recoma MT1501. This is a 15 needle machine. You can do this with any of the machines that you guys have. You could even do it with a one needle machine. I just want to use this one because we're going to be doing this very thick leather and we're going to be doubling it up. So this machine would do it so much faster and neater. And that's why I want to use this machine today. So after we load up our hoop, as always, we're going to go to our files and we're going to choose a design. Now you're gonna have two different DSTs files or PES files. In this case, I'm going to be doing first the star, uh, which is going to be the strap. So I'm going to choose this one first just to get it out of the way. And I'm going to press okay, it's gonna load. Here we go. We already have the hoop that I'm going to be using, but just to make sure I'm in the center, I'm gonna choose the hoop one more time. I'm using the C hoop on the Recoma machine. I'll press the okay. And we're all pretty much set. Now I'm going to go back, lock our machine, and I'm going to be using a red color since we're doing red leather. The next thing is always trace, remember that? And press the start. All right, so that was pretty fast, right? Now all we have to do is just take 
your hoop off and cut around it. All right, so as you can see, I'm leaving a border around the stitches. Now, you don't have to, you can get it as close as you like. Uh, I would just be real careful with the threads themselves. You don't want to cut them. All right, so now I'm cutting around the hoop one more time just to get some space so I don't have any uh, of the garment falling off of the hoop. And pretty much as close as I can around the hoop because we still need to use the other part, which is gonna be the back of the holder. So what we're going to be doing now, is going to be the front of the holder. All right, so let's insert the hoop in the machine and go on over to the panel again. Okay, so I'm going to unlock my machine because remember this is two different files. Now we're going to do the actual holder. So let me go to my memory and I have it as the front here. Press okay. And here we go, lock the machine choose your color we're going to be choosing all red in this case i want on my third step to have a frame out option and on my fourth step to have another frame out option now for this one is to put the strap and this one here is to put the back side of uh your your holder press ok we're all set now just trace your machine and press your start button. All right, so let's take off our hoop. So you see this square? This is the trace where you're going to be putting the strap. Make sure that you put the strap right over it and check your edges. So double check on the corners. Here we go. Maybe even bring it in a little bit more. See the back piece here. So we're gonna be using regular scotch tape to just hold this down. And we wanna hold this part down as well. All right, so that was just a frame out. We're gonna put the hoop back in the machine and press the start. All right, so that was the second frame out. Now we're going to remove the hoop and do the next step. All right, so now we're going to flip it and I've already cut the other piece of fabric and we're gonna have this fabric facing up. Now, since I do wanna put my tape on it, uh, I wanna cut it maybe just a little smaller so I can hold around this part. So let me go ahead and do that now. Put it right over, there we go. And this is why I'm telling you guys, you can really use your fabric or, or any garments that you might want to be using and really get the most out of it because you're really using not that much. And now back to the machine. All right, guys, so that was the last frame out for this design. Let's go ahead and put it right back in and press the start button. All right, we're all set, guys. Let's go ahead and start trimming around it now. Okay, so let's take off the tapes. All right, so as you guys know, while you're doing this, you can have another one running and you can have more production, more money. It sounds like a great idea. Okay, so let's flip it and take this tape off. Okay, so let's clip back, unhoop it, and let's start cutting around borders. The same thing we did with the strap I'm going to do here, I'm going to be close to it, but I'm going to leave a little bit of border. This area here, this is going to be the open area where the top of your hand sanitizer is going to be. So let's go ahead and get this part as close as possible. All right, so here we have the Velcro. This is the last step. We're going to be putting the Velcro right in the middle of the star and we're going to be flipping it over and that's it. You guys can do this with any machine. We're gonna be posting on the link below the PS file so you can use on any of the other machines you guys have, even a one needle machine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, comment below. Also check out our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery uh, to connect with other decorators and get more tips and tricks. Also, if you guys are interested in more videos related to the items that are in the man right now, make sure to check out the other two videos we made on masks and gloves. 
See you guys next time.